Okay, boys and girls, if you are using watercolors, you need to get out your watercolor palette. This is called a watercolor palette. Inside, it comes with a brush. Grab some water in a cup. It doesn't need to be too much. My water goes up to about right here. You also need a paper towel to clean off your brushes. Um, now, when it comes to my setup, usually I put my cup right on top of my paper towel and I'm gonna bring it back so you won't be able to see it, but this is what it looks like when I am working. Okay, so now we have our finished drawing. I'm gonna open up my paint palette. When you open this up for the first time, your brush is gonna be kind of stiff. You just wanna wet it a little bit. Just wet it a little bit, soften it up. Okay, so boys and girls, it is very, very important that you treat your brush nicely. You wanna treat your brush, so this is called the bristles. You wanna treat your brush like it's a kitty cat's tail or puppy's tail. You wanna be very gentle with it, okay? You also want to hold your paintbrush like it's a pencil. So, if you hold it far away like this, you don't have a lot of control but you wanna move your hand closer. So if you hold it right here on the metal, you have a lot of control. But as long as you have it in the middle, that's good. Okay, so you wanna first wet your brush. Then I'm gonna show you what to do now. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is you wanna pick out the colors you're going to use. Stay away from the brown and the black because if you mix in black with any of your other colors, it won't be very pretty. Okay, so boys and girls, remember, every time you switch colors, you don't just wanna dive right in, you wanna wash your brush out. So before we even get started, I'm gonna show you how to wash your brush. So you wash your brush by gently stirring your brush, gently stirring, be very gentle and then wipe it off on the side, and you can even wipe it off on your paper towel. But remember, you want to be gentle. I don't wanna see anyone doing this. I don't wanna see anyone doing this to their brush. Gentle, 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 gentle. So I'm gonna use yellow first. I'm gonna get some water on my brush, get some paint on my brush. Make sure my brush is nice and wet because we are using watercolors. We need water in order to use watercolors. So now I'm just going to add some paint. Add some yellow where I want to add yellow. Okay. Now one cool thing you can do is you can add more water to your color. So you can either add more paint or you can add more water. If you add more paint, it makes your color darker. But if you add more water, it makes your color just a little bit lighter. Now for my door, I'm gonna do something called blending. So I've added some yellow. I wanna work kinda quickly because I don't want it to dry. I wanna work kinda quickly, I don't want it to dry. So before my paint dries, I'm going to clean up my brush, wipe it really quickly on my paper towel, get some water, and I'm gonna go into this green right here. And then I am going to start on the top, and then, and then I'm gonna bring my green down to blend with my yellow. I'm gonna blend them. So that way it goes from green to yellow and it looks kind of cool.
Okay, boys and girls, when you are completely done with your project and you're ready to wash off your brush and your water, I am going to show you how to do all of that. You might have noticed that we are currently in my bathroom. So a little change of scenery. So the first thing you want to do is you want to pop your brush into the water. The second thing you want to do is maybe you can like gently tap your colors if there's like puddles. So make sure you're using a nice clean paper towel and just gently dab or pat these colors dry. Then you are ready to close this up. Remember you want to close this so it doesn't dry out and you are ready to clean out your cup and your brush. So I'm gonna move my camera a little bit. Okay, so this is a beautiful view of my sink. So the first thing you do is just pour out the water, rinse it, swirl it around until your water is clear. And then you dump it out and your cup is nice and clean. Your brush, it's a little bit harder, but it's not too hard. Y'all got this. So first you wanna just rinse off your brush and then take a little bit of soap. I got my soap right here. Just get a little bit on your hand. And remember, the bristles, very sensitive. You wanna be nice and gentle. And then just gently rub it around your hand. Rinse it off. Just be very gentle, go in gentle circles. And then that's it. I like to just kind of pat my brush dry a little bit. But after that you are done and you can always dry off your hands, dry off your brush before putting it back in. But remember you want to keep everything in a safe place you want to make sure this is always closed and you are done.